3.6 kW up on the roof. We went with the Enphase uh, little M215 inverters. Uh, they're pretty neat. They're plug and play. Uh, we've got them paired up with some uh, Katrina Solar 245, 245 watt um, solar panels. They did good, but um, the way the, the meter works with solar, it's, it, it's kind of like, um, it just doesn't do what I expected it to do. So um, I decided to go ahead and bump it up even more. So I went with a SMA um, Sunny Boy 6,000 uh, watt um, inverter. This is a DC disconnect right here. Now, this is actually an older style. Um, I got a deal on this. This is actually, um, this is called the 6000 USA 10 or something like that. And the newer style is the SMA 6000 TLs. And that's the transformerless. This one's got transformers in it. So this booger has a little bit of weight to it. Um, but it's actually a good unit. It'll do what I want. Um, with everything I've got, we're going to be over, um, the goal is right at 10,000 watts up on the roof. So um, that should offset the power company's rigged meter. I feel like it's rigged because um, the 3,600 watts up there actually did pretty good. We stayed nearly at zero on the old meter. The new meter, we just don't do it. So um, anyways, there's some of the fast ones right here. This is the little DC disconnect right here. So um, that's pretty good. Now, um, the power company will come out and they'll test it and make sure everything's working since you're um, pretty much grid tied. So um, they will check that. That is a promise because they've been here, checked mine, made sure everything worked when we did the micro inverters. Um, so now we're switching out to the string inverter and I think the string inverter money wise is a better way to go um one inverter versus the other ones the other ones were plug and play they were good as the micro inverters but there was 17 of them up there 17 panels and we were only able to get 3655 watts so this will take we're going to end up running around 22 panels up there um, probably 290 watt panels or 300 watt panels and you want to go a little bit over by about 1.2 percent or something like that so that way you can offset um, the heat loss during hot summer days but you don't want to go too much because on the cold days it can make a lot of power and you can overwhelm the system so you got to balance that out just right but for your bang for your buck this right here for the just a few more panels we would have had 6,000 watts instead of 3,655 so um, if you're trying to do something real simple and easy, the microinverters are the way to go. Plug and play, great. Uh, smaller setup, if you're not home a lot, not using stuff a lot, it will work out just fine. Can't use the microinverters and the uh, string inverters for the off-grid stuff. They use a totally different type of setup. That'd be the Sunny Island, um, where this is the Sunny Boy. So let's open it up, let's check it out, let's see what we got. Um, I'll be doing the full install on this. Like I said, this is an older model. I picked it up. Um, I got a discount on it. And so I jumped on it and got it. So now for the 6,000 watt piece, they have an SMA 7,000 watt. And it just seemed a lot more expensive for the extra 1,000 watts. And you can actually stack these things. A little bit of damage from shipping. So... There's some accessories here. Let's see what they gave us. Right. Book. Some fasteners in there. Um, you do want to read your book on this. You want to check out the safety. You want to know what you're dealing with and stuff like that. And like I said, this is 6,000 US right here um we could have went with the bigger one but the price on this one was just i couldn't pass it up you definitely want to read all your safety stuff on this because dc power can zap the piss out of you um 
a lot of times when I'm working on this, it's after hours at the shop, so it's actually dark when I'm up there working, and it's not as big of a deal for me. But you do have to watch DC power. It's a little bit different than AC power. So, um, all right. There's my bad boy right there. on these things. It weighs that much. Oh yeah. I'm gonna set it on the ground and slide it out because this bad boy's got some weight to it. This actually shipping weight on this is about 147 pounds. So um, it's not exactly something you're just gonna toss around. Um, this is well built. It's got transformers. It's got some metal in it. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting this up on the roof. So All right, so this is it out of the box. Um, comes a pretty stout stainless steel mounting bracket, so that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, so this is it. And as you can see, the size of my hand, I have extra, extra large hands. This thing's pretty stout. It's got some size to it. Um, like I said, this is 6,000 watts right here. Um, it's capable of, I think, in the Schematic says it can go up to like 6,200 watts, but we're going to be closer to 7,000 watts on the seal uh, on the actual roof because um, the offset for the summer you get a lot of loss during the heat. Um, but like I said, you just don't want to go over for the winter time because the winter time when it's cool, these things can make a lot of power. The panels can, so you don't want to overwhelm your inverter. But anyways, this is Sunny Boy. I picked this up on a deal. Sometimes you find them on eBay. I found this one through someone I knew and went ahead and ordered it in. Like I said, this is the older style. This has the transformers in it and the 6000 TLs. Actually, um, that whole series of the TL series, they're transformerless, they're a little bit lighter. Um, about the same size, but they're just lighter. So, anyways, stay tuned for all the videos on the install, all the hookup, uh, what panels we use. We'll put an amp clamp on there. We'll show you it in production. Um, we'll be able to monitor this one a little bit differently. And then it's a little bit different how, like on the end phase, you have the little uh, monitoring system there. You got to hook it up to the internet and everything. So I'm going to kind of show you guys all that different stuff. And uh, But next step is we have to order all the panels. Um, that is the whole thing. Like I said, 22 to 24 panels. It's literally going to go from one side of uh, my shop all the way to the other side. And, um, you know, we've already got 17 panels up there now. So, yeah, I can't wait to get all this up and operational and come back and show you guys all the different steps, how it works, how easy it is to hook it up, and everything you'll need to know between the differences between the string inverters and the micro inverters. So, anyway, stay tuned for all the solar videos and the SMA. Sunny Boy uh, install coming up.